What's good, YouTube and returning life gainers? And when I read about this, I got so excited that you know what went straight to the sky. Yes, yes, yes. We have a brand new rendition of a live action He-Man movie coming out December 2019. But is it going to be good? Is it going to be better than this disaster that we're seeing on the screen right now that hurt my feelings as a child? This was one of my most beloved cartoons and we're going to determine whether we should stream it or beam it but i can go ahead and tell you i'm going to catch the beam if you enjoy the content on this channel go ahead subscribe click that notification bell so that you can be down every time we drop a new video let's jump into this one to see what's going on with he-man coming in 2019 Sony is promising to deliver us a brand new He-Man. It's going to be a little darker, a little bit more gritty, and they've got a good person writing the story and directing. This is David S. Squire, and he's going to be doing directing, and he's also going to be doing the writing, some of it anyway. Y'all might have known this brother from his rendition of Man of Steel. He did some writing and a directing in that. He also did some other good famous things that you have seen in the past. Blade Trinity, uh, which that was good. The Unborn, nah, it was okay. Da Vinci's Demons, ah, it was okay. But overall, I'm, I feel pretty confident with his work. He also did The Dark Knight, which, you know, makes me feel really, really good. And this is a beloved story, a great comic, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this thing deserves a good movie because you can do so many different things with this universe keep in mind you can also bring in she at some point in time and you could possibly bring in hordak who's supposed to be more powerful than skeletor they're also bringing in this young lady lindsay barr and she's going to help with some of the screenwriting y'all might know her from chaos walking she did godzilla versus kong and they've got to get cracking on this one because they lose their contract to Mattel in 2020, which that kind of has me scared when they haven't even begun casting yet. Production is supposed to start this spring, but they haven't really done casting. They have said some people that they would like to cast, and I'll show you some people that might line up with who they want to play certain characters in a second. But if they could do a He-Man story arc properly, this would probably, I feel, give marvel cinematic universe i run for its money because this this story is just rich it's deep it's got so many angles you can take and there's so many moving parts like i said you could bring in she-ra and other people so here you got them potentially thinking about bringing in the rock to play my man stratus um i'm okay with that i think that could work but is the rock gonna really do it when he's got so many other things going on um, you can bring in my homegirl here to play Evil Lynn, and I would love to see her play Evil Lynn because you want someone that's going to be menacing to play Evil Lynn. Now, check out the cat we about to see for He-Man. Hell to the no. Nope, 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 nope. This time around, we want a real deal big body He-Man. I don't know who you go get for that role. You know, I complained about Chris Helmsworth being Thor, but he worked it out. So maybe I should give this guy a chance too. But at my first glance, I'm just like, nope. He looks like a big doofus that's going to try to play one of the best cartoon characters ever. I can see Miss Bill playing Tila. Yep, I'm down for that team. Go ahead and give that a whirly derb so we can see that. And another option that they got for Tila is this lady. And I have no idea who she is. But um, I think one of those two is probably going to pull up this role, if I'm not mistaken. And then further on, as we get down this thing, we're looking at this brother playing Man at Arms. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
Okay, it, possibly. And then another potential option for Man at Arms is this guy. Now, he looks just like him, but I don't know if he's going to fit the bill and act like him. But we'll see. We still got some ways to go. Hopefully, some of these people will come back. Now, check out who they want to be Ram Man. Y'all guys will be familiar with Mickey Rourke. Perfect for Ram Man. I can't think of a better guy to play Ram Man using his head to knock through hard objects. Give that job to him. Then you got this brother that might play Skeletor, which, hey, this guy, if y'all haven't seen him in some of his movies, he is evil as hell. Perfect for Skeletor. Let's hope that he decides he want to take the job. And, of course, they're going to give a nod to the old He-Man. They're going to bring my man Ludric back in. I don't know what he's going to do, but they're possibly going to bring him back in. So let's just see what they do um, and make this thing happen and make it to be a good movie. Next, running down the list, he is perfect for Beast Man. I can't think of nobody better to play Beast Man than him. Look at him and look at the comparison. He could summon some damn animals. Moving right along, last but not least, you got my girl Charlize Theron, who could probably channel the sorceress like nobody else could. You got to have that. And the last thing that they forgot in the first one, how you going to have this movie without Orko? The court jester and wizard to the stars. You better put his ass in here or else it's probably going to be another disaster. Well, that's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you're going to go and catch the theater beam for He-Man. I can go ahead and tell you right now. I don't care how sucky it looks. I'm going to see it because I got to review it. This was my childhood hero, and I'm going to see it. And until the next sex as hell video... I'll see y'all.